Okay guys, so gonna try and walk you through this. Um, no experience at making videos, so don't laugh. Um, this is the grill that I bought, the gas grill. Um, I put it together by the instructions, left out the burner, the burner cover, the regulator, and the uh, starter button. Um, so just put basically the box together um, as you can see, this is the Amazing Smoker here. It's a track smoker. Um, I did cut down the grate so that it would fit. The grate normally would sit up here on the top, but I cut it down a little bit so it would fit in the bottom. So if you look at this, it does have vents on the side. There's some venting holes. There were venting holes on the back that I taped shut to seal it, but I didn't shut, I didn't tape the bottom because the bottom holes are going to be the air coming in and it'll come in and up through your smoker and then into the chimney. So the chimney I made from this piece of stove pipe, as you can see here. Um, basically drew a line around the bottom, drilled some holes into the, into the lid, cut it out with a Dremel tool around the holes. And what you want to do is when you do that, you want to keep this crimped edge up on the upside because that'll make it easier to put the aluminum dryer vent tubing on. So basically what I did was I, I cut I cut tabs out of here and bent them up and fed it up through the bottom of the lid and then you can't see it in the picture because it's too dark but I drilled holes through the lid and into the through the tab and into the lid and used this pop rivet gun to secure the stove pipe. You could also use sheet metal screw, screws. I'm sure they'll do the same thing, but you, you might have to grind off the, the tops of the sheet metal screws. Pop rivets leave a nice um, flat uh, piece. You might have to grind off the points of the sheet metal screws so that you don't cut your hand. Um, and even though I use pop rivets, I still taped both the, the, the pipe, the, the tabs, and around the pipe as it came through to seal it because I wanted a seal. Now what, what you will see is when you use this, you will get a little smoke down here around the rim coming out. And I was thinking of putting maybe like a, like a, a seal, like an oven seal or even a high temperature silicone um, that, that I could use to maybe seal that a little more. But quite frankly, it generates enough smoke that the little bit of loss you get through that lip isn't going to make a difference. So coming up out of the out of the lid with the chimney, I just use this dryer tube, it's a flexible aluminum dryer tube, it expands, contracts, bends any direction you want. Came out with that and you can stretch it and bend it and do whatever. So that's a three inch dryer tube. I fed the three inch dryer tube into a PVC reducer. So this is a three inch at this end and one and a half inch at this end and put the dryer tube inside, taped it up. One and a half inch in this end, I used a piece of, a short piece of PVC pipe in here that you can't see. One and a half inch, stuck it in there, taped that fast. Onto the PVC pipe because I wanted to put this bushing on Onto the PVC pipe, there's a standard one and a half, one and a half coupling, PVC coupling. So I put the coupling on the pipe, taped that, and then I use this bushing. Now this bushing, the outside edge of this bushing is the same as the outside diameter of the PVC pipe. So that, that outside goes into the coupler also and taped it. So the reason you want this 
is because then you can put your copper tubing into that piece. This is a, this is the, it's three inch, I think it's three inch aluminum. It's, it's meant for using uh, in duct work in your base. Sorry, I had to go find the copper tubing. So th this is the copper, it's one inch OD, one inch copper tubing. And as you can see, this will fit. This will fit inside here. So this just goes into this pipe and then I run a piece of tape around every time I'm gonna smoke. I'll show you that uh, how that all goes together in a little bit. It, I think it's three quarter inside and one inch on the outside. I and drill once I have one the pipe one. on, I can just take it, slip this over the pipe, tape that fast, and then all I need to do is fill my, fill this box with my pellets, light it once it's lit, Flame goes out and it's really smoking. You just close that and off you go and you're smoking. Um, the thing I like about the amazing smoker, pellet smoker, is they have a, 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 a lot of varieties of different woods that you can use. Whereas if you buy the smoke pistols, you're limited to the cartridge. So that's why I like the way this works. Like I said, the brass, getting the brass fittings, you could use a bigger hole. I didn't want a big hole in my box. So that's why I used the three quarter, the one inch and three quarter brass fittings. Um, and it matched the uh, copper tubing because I knew I needed a piece that I could put on and take off as I wanted. So I hope this helps.